Hi guys and girls, it's the Jeep Doctor. Welcome to my YouTube page. This is a install video for the Best Top Trek Top NX Soft Top for the 97 to 2006 Jeep Wrangler. I've uh, owned this top for probably a month and a half now, and I've done a preliminary video, an unboxing video, and a first week review video and I've had a couple of quests for an install video just now getting around to it so if you have any interest in the best top truck top NX please check out my other videos I have some information for you there so but here we go guys this is what you get when you open the box is a set of instructions uh, there are some discrepancies with these instructions there's actually, uh, I think these instructions were drawn up or printed uh, and then there were some revisions done to the top after it came out, uh, so they probably just need to reserve some revisions to the instructions here. But uh, I went through and I highlighted what we're looking at, and uh, there's some just some, some things that are revisions, some things are clarifications. So the first thing we got here is well, what it's going to tell you. Let's go through it step by step. The first thing it's going to tell you to do here is install the door surrounds. So I've already got one installed. I left one off for uh, purposes of showing how to do it. So. But basically, down here we have a hole in your frame, or your body, your tub, whatever you like to call it here. And then up here you have these, uh, get some good lighting here, these uh, basically semi-circles that fit over your sports bar. So, and you've got some holes here that, when lined up, you have these knobs. So you're going to run these knobs through the top here. Let me uh, get a good angle on this. And they go through. And what you got going on here is the bottom of this door surround actually has a threaded nut insert in it. So you're going all the way through your sports bar and just threading into this bottom nut insert here. So you got two of them. Just do the second one here. And sometimes there is a little bit of trouble getting these guys to line up. So you may have to fidget with it just a little bit. But today seems to be one of my lucky days because it's just going right in. Oh, got that one bottomed out. This one just a little bit more. And here it is. Alright, we're all bottomed out here. So. So you got your door surrounds on, and this is one of the things that uh, the Rampage top did not come with. So if you were switching from a from factory top, you may still have yours, but if you're switching from a hard top like I was, uh, you're going to need these. So, but and these cost about 150 to 180 dollars, depends on where you buy them from. Uh, Best, Pop, Best Top and Mopar are the only people that make them, so uh, you can buy some used ones, or you can uh, just Opt for the uh, best top truck top or one of the other great best top tops. Uh, and let me just go ahead and say, guys, I'm in no way compensated by best top for any of these videos, any of these reviews. Uh, I've just owned a lot of Jeep Wranglers over the years, CJs, and so on. And uh, when it comes down to it, uh, you basically you have a good amount of choices in the market. And best top, honestly, they're one of the best. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I have done some research and found that they make a lot of things for Mopar original equipment. So basically if you're buying a best top, you're basically buying the same thing you could buy from Mopar. But anyway, so you got your door surrounds on and it's going to tell you the next step is to install your tailgate mounts. So and this is for your tailgate bar. And I've already got mine installed and this was a point of clarification so because the instructions are not super clear here uh, as far as you can tell this might be the tailgate this might be the tub so but what you got going on is these do actually screw to the tub with these orientating on the inside just to clarify that so like I said there was some confusion but they do attach to the tub like this. So you just drill two holes, put these two, ta two supply tapping screws in each one, 
with this orientating in. So you've actually got a bent down part right here. This is where your tailgate bar is going to go. So that's simple. All right, now here we go on to attaching the Sun Rider Bow Rider bars. So, and what you have is you've got this header channel, and then you've got these side bars. Well, here is one of the revisions, guys. It looks like Best Top has came by and revised this because actually in the picture on the instructions it shows that style which is just a uh, an open pin area and I think what they used to have was on the door surrounds they had this clip but instead they revised it and put it on these bows so much better designed and point of clarification because they don't show you the correct thing in the diagram these point inwards actually my first install it was a guessing game and I actually uh, installed these pointing out towards the outside of the Jeep well they actually point in towards the inside of the Jeep otherwise uh, they're right in the way of putting your top on so but anyway they just screw in one screw they've got a pre-drilled hole here and there is a, a passenger and a driver's side as noted by the instructions you want to make sure you get those on the correct side just to make sure you get everything correct so but the next thing here is installing the arch bar and the arch bar just goes basically right in between your two door surrounds let me show you. for clarification there's a slot that they fit into so just put one in that slot and you see the other slot down there actually it's a little bit easier if you put it in the farther one first and then you're gonna bend it this is a flexible aluminum bar it's gonna bend it down in there and what this is gonna do is keep rain and snow and such from piling up and busting through your seams of your top so it's just giving you a little bit of support this is one of two bows in this entire top if you've ever owned another uh, soft top whether it be um, Mopar or Best Top or Rampage or anybody, you're going to know that normally you have all these bows that go from here to here to here and a bow that goes here and it comes out here. Ah, it's just complicated, too complicated. So this is why this makes this great, this soft top so great. Is you've got this one bow here and then the instructions are going to tell you to well, let's get on the right page. The instructions are going to tell you to install your header channel. This is what we just screwed the Sun Rider bows into. So basically what you've got is you've got some pre-drilled or pre-slit holes on the fabric. You're going to slide this header channel up in here and run your screws, your supplied screws in just to fasten this to it. So very simple. You got them running all the way down, all the way across. So, and here's what I'm exactly what I'm talking about, guys. This is the old diagram for the old style. They had the clevis pin on the door surrounds, and the bows were just a hole. Well, they've redesigned this whole thing to do this. Much better design. So anyway, on to the second bow. It's going to tell you to re install the rear bow. All you're going to do is you've got the bottom end of the bow of the bikini top part of the soft top, and you've got this other bow that slides in, and it actually has these little clips here that once you slot it in, you clip it on one end, push it, pull this, clip it in the end because it's got a, an opening here. You can't see it because it's too black, but. It just clips in there and that keeps that in place. That just gives you a little support on the rear end there. So keeps it keeps it uh, uniform. So alright. Well then the next step is to take this whole thing we've just assembled and drape it right over the sports bar. So when I say sports bar, a lot of you a lot of you folks call it a roll bar, but in the Jeep community we don't like to call it a roll bar because uh, we don't want to roll. So we're just gonna 
set this down for a second and drape this over. And what I like to do is I like to use the sound bar to give me a little support. Drape it on the back. I'm sitting. There isn't always an uh, easy way to do this, but get it face clean in place. You take a little finagling to get it where you want it to be. And as you get it up here, I'll give you a close up on the passenger side. I'm just going to go ahead and clip in the, the Sunrider bars to the door surround. See, this is what we're talking about here. You just slide this in, pull that pin towards the inside, and as soon as you find that hole, it's spring loaded and it'll just fall right in there. So, there you go. All right, the next step you're going to come around back here. You've got these straps. And then you have the other end of the strap. This one fell on the floor. And you're going to hook it to the inside of your tub right here. And then you're going to run it so this side is facing out. I don't know if you can tell the difference there, but if you do it this way, it won't hold. And you have to turn it around to where it's looks like it's facing out correctly there you go so that is like that if that makes sense if you can see that on the video and you can just play with it at home and you'll know if you get it right or not because it'll simply it simply will hold so got it there Use the shoddy camera work, but you know, there you go. So, I really got to figure out. I'm, I'm thinking about getting the extreme sports cam or so on, something to that effect, to do some other install videos because it is hard to it is hard to give you a good angle on what I'm doing sometimes. Oh. It's hard to give you a good angle of what I'm doing sometimes. But just feed this through. I mean, I'm sure everybody who has had a, a book bag in their life will know exactly what to do here. But there we go. And if you do this backwards, you do it the other way, it just won't, it won't tighten down like that. And you'll know you've done it wrong. You just have to flip it around. So, but there we go. And that pretty much concludes the install of the bikini top. If you just want to ride around in the sun, the only thing left at this point would be to latch yourself up here. So this is the perfect opportunity to show off one of the best features of this top, which is the sun rider feature. And basically at this point, all you have to do is flip it back and you've got open air driving and you can actually pop your uh, front bow out to have a complete open air feel. Then if you have a quick shower it pops up, just throw this thing right back forward. Give it a couple of latches there on the header bar, the header panel. And you're good to go. So, you know, I, I ride like this just to keep the sun off my back if I'm doing a long drive. So, but at this point what you want to do is flip the sun rider on back because you're going to give yourself as much play in this back fabric as you possibly can to get these rear windows in. Now it always helps if these rear windows have been laying in the sun because uh, you know it's uh, definitely easier to do whenever they're warm. Oh, here's one thing that I almost forgot. You're going to want, you've got some straps on the inside. See if we can point them out for you. Oh, there's the buckle. Not really getting a good amount of light in here. 
I did this inside my garage, so we, uh, there, there's the straps. And basically these just wrap around your sports bar here, between your sound bar, and so you're just gonna wrap those around, same, same uh, principle on the back there. So I'm not gonna bore you with going through that step, uh, just because it's so simple. So make sure you do that there. That just basically ties this in here, so that way it won't flap. So, but, all right. So, step, let's see. Next step would be to install the rear window. And as I was saying, these things are uh, always easier to install whenever they have been laid out in the sun to get nice and warm. So we're gonna come back here. Well, as I was saying, I'm installing this in my garage because it's somewhat of a windy day here in North Carolina. So, um, you know, my camera, don't want to pick up a lot of wind noise, don't want to make you guys cringe and hate my videos because I know I've watched some that are just, sounds like they're doing it in a wind tunnel and that's ridiculous, so. But you've got two channels here. Unfortunately, though, that means my lighting's not so great, but you've got two channels here. They fit inside each other, one shaped up like that, the other shaped like that. You fit them in, just give it a good slide over. All right, rear window is hanging. That's where we want to start with. So, the basic idea of what that is there. Okay. And the next step is, we've already attached these straps here. We've already got the Sun Rider flipped back. So our next step is going to be, oh, let's go the right way. We're gonna install the quarter windows. And this thing says to start the zipper one to two inches. I'm gonna go and tell you that's too much. You can see in the picture, they've got that thing down there. Until you get these, all these windows zipped in, you're gonna wanna barely start this thing. Barely start these windows with just a, a, a minute little zip. So, basically, I'm gonna put the camera on the tripod, and I'm gonna go around and zip these windows in. And then the next step after getting these things just barely zipped in is to start installing this. And all this right here is just, it flips right into this channel here. So you'll see me do this from the tripod and then I'll bring you back and we'll uh, finish up the rest of the install, so. So we still have the rear window more or less hanging. Fairly zipped in. Got your tailgate channel here. So get my tire carrier out of the way. Open your tailgate. Alright, and it has like a little a little sewn in piece of channel here. What you want to do. Let's get that slid in. And the brackets you installed earlier, what this is going to do is you've got a square shaped part of it. You're going to flip this down and it fits right into that channel. So, very simple. So, they actually have a little picture of how it goes right here. This is your window. This is your channel, so it all just fits right in there. Keeps everything nice and secure and hopefully dry. So, next thing we're going to do is zip the rest of the windows up. Now this is something I always recommend with these soft tops. It's a pair of long needle nose pliers and they're actually made for uh, pulling spark plug boots. 
but you could probably pick a pair of these up at Harbor Freight, I imagine. Uh, these are Mac brand, uh, no need for anything fancy. But uh, basically, these are just, there's a, of course, a eye on the zipper. You can fit these in. Just give yourself a little more pulling power. Just make sure that you've got the zipper started correctly. You don't want to cross thread these zippers and just be foolish about it. Uh, you know, so just make sure you got these things done correctly so you're not, uh, you know, using the wrong tool for the job. But this is what I like to use, so. But we're going to finish zipping these windows in. Thing to do is right here you have these L pieces of plastic they just flip down and fold up inside your door surround and you've got a nice tight top but uh, if you guys have any questions please feel free to email me it's the Jeep doctor at gmail.com if you uh, have any comments please leave them up in the post see my other videos and uh, thanks for views appreciate it guys